$1,200 per family member to a maximum of $6,000. Are you facing unemployment? Are you having a hard time making ends meet? Well, let's face it, are you broke? Well, fear not, because our moronic, I mean fearless leaders in Washington have done it again. This is a stimulus check round two update, and we're starting right... Hey, I'm Darren and welcome to the Ramblin' Recruiter. Welcome back to another Recruiter short, red hot job search related topics that we're covering in five minutes or less. These are short videos, so make sure you watch all the way to the end. This past Friday, the House of Representatives passed a part two to the stimulus bill. This second coronavirus relief package called the HEROES Act totals three trillion, that's right, trillion with a T, three trillion dollars. Some have called this an orgy of out of control spending, a proverbial wish list of leftist policies that have gone mad. Some progressives out there don't think it goes far enough. Most don't think what's actually going to pass and be signed into law by President Trump is going to look like what was actually proposed by the House of Representatives. Not good, believe me, not good. So what does it mean for you, for me, for businesses out there? What is this actually going to look like? Well, let's unpack it a little bit, shall we? Support for this new house bill is driven by these long-term lockdowns that we've all been experiencing. Just last week, another three million people filed for unemployment benefits for the first time. That brings the total to over 35 million since the start of the coronavirus outbreak. That brings unemployment to about 15% and and the US, along with the rest of the world, is really teetering on the brink of a massive recession. Some are saying even depression. I'm not gonna sit here and debate the merits of printing money and handing it out to everybody. There are arguments both for and against doing so, and there are consequences of both doing so and not doing so. From a simply economic standpoint, it's absolute madness to print money and hand it out to people. However, from a human standpoint, when you've got millions of people who are out of work, who are broke, who are having a difficult time making ends meet, they can't pay their mortgage, they can't pay their rent, they can't even put food on the table, something has to be done. And unfortunately, the consequences of doing that will have to be dealt with later. Just FYI, I'm not gonna debate economics with anybody down below in the comments either. Everybody's got their thoughts and opinion. Some people think it's not enough. Some people think it's way too much. Now this new package comes right on the heels of the first round of stimulus, which provided $1,200 per individual and $500 per child because of the usual techno hiccups that anything having to do with the government bureaucracy is involved in. Many people, myself included, have not yet received that first round of stimulus. Incidentally, if you wanna check the status of your first round of stimulus, check the IRS link below in the description. You should be able to track down where yours is at. According to the IRS, mine is on the way. Now here's what the second round of stimulus might look like if the bill that was put forward by the House were to clear the Senate and be signed into law by President Trump with no changes. This new bill would provide a cash payment of $1,200 per family member to a maximum of $6,000 per family. It would also extend the plus up to unemployment, the extra $600 a week that the first stimulus bill created. It would extend that through January 2021. A lot of states, my own included, are really struggling with their unemployment systems, so they haven't quite ironed out the bugs of getting people the unemployment plus up at all yet, never mind extending that through 2021. So it's pretty likely that it's gonna be some time before people actually start receiving those benefits. I think the biggest concern is that you, me, or anybody else, when we get these payments, what we're most likely to do is get caught up on bills with them. That means that the payments aren't really benefiting the average American so much as they're benefiting the banks and the mortgage companies and the credit card companies out there. So my advice to you, spend your stimulus wisely. Don't put it right in the pocket of a banker. Make sure you got food in the fridge first. What we need more than free money is we need good jobs. And in order to have good jobs, we need these lockdowns to end. So let's reopen our states responsibly and get America back to work. If you're interested in learning how to find a good job fast, you're going to want to check out the video that's over here. And the video that's over here, that's the one that YouTube thinks you're going to like the best. Enjoy the rest of your job seeking day. Stay classy, YouTube. See you next time. You dig?